Hey guys! So today I'm going to show you how to make these Frankenstein Mickey Mouse Rice Krispies treats. Alright, that is a long name, but don't be scared because these are super duper easy to make. So to get started, we need 3 tablespoons of butter. I use unsalted, but you can use whatever you have. So let that melt down so we can add in 4 cups of mini marshmallows. Uh, before you add those in, actually save a handful so we can use those later for decoration. So we're just going to stir those and let them melt until they get nice and smooth, something like this. And I actually like to add in some vanilla to add a little bit of flavor to it. So I added about one table, well, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I just mix that in there before I add in the food coloring. So for the food coloring, I use the gel food coloring that comes in the little tubs. So if you have the drop ones, you can just add it gradually until you get the color that you want. Uh, I add quite a lot to make it super green. So you're just going to mix that in until all the white is gone. And just mix, mix, mix. So you get it all incorporated. Now you're going to add in your 4 cups of Rice Krispies. And it takes a while for the color to get mixed in with the Rice Krispies, so don't worry if you see that it's not getting green quite as fast as you would like. So you're just going to mix that in. And then you're going to need your Mickey Mouse cookie cutter. I got this one at Disneyland, but I'm pretty sure you can find one on Amazon. And to the bottom, I just added a little bit of butter. And then you're going to need some parchment paper and a cookie sheet. And then you are going to add in your hot uh, Rice Krispies, so be careful. And just use a spatula. Get that in there. Gets a little sticky, so be careful. Then using that spatula, I'm just going to spread it out and get it as flat as I possibly can. Then I'm going to add a piece of parchment paper right on top so it can help me smooth out the top so it's not as lumpy. Uh, it's going to be kind of hot so again be careful. And you're just going to smooth it out as much as you possibly can. And kind of try to fill out the thickness that you want it to. And there you go. So now you're ready to cut in your shapes and you can try to get as many as you can. And I made mine kind of thin. I wanted them to be a little bit thicker, but I just couldn't fill it out that well. But anyways, you're going to need a saucepan with a little bit of water in it and a glass bowl. Um, just make sure that the water does not touch the glass bowl. Um, so then you're going to need some melting chocolates. I like to use the Ghirardelli ones. Those are my favorite. And I'm using the dark chocolate. So you're going to put some of the dark chocolate uh, melting wafers in the bowl and just try to get as much as you can in there so you can uh, dip in your Rice Krispie treats. So you just want to let it heat up a little bit and then uh, mix it. So if it gets a little lumpy, don't worry. It's eventually going to look like this. Nice and smooth, good for dipping. So then you're going to grab your Rice Krispie treat and you're going to dip it in ears first. And mine wasn't as deep, so, uh, you know, just move it around a little bit so that you can get it all covered in chocolate. And I wouldn't go more than covering up half of the face. So then you're going to place that on a wire rack or some parchment paper. So we're going to get the marshmallows that we put aside, and we're just going to dip those in the chocolate as well, just like that. And you're going to attach them right underneath the ear. So it's like the little Frankenstein um, bolts that he has on the side of his head. Do it on both sides. Then you're going to grab some more of your wafers and put them in a little plastic baggie. Then you're going to put them in the microwave and melt it down. So I just did about 20 seconds and then just kind of kneaded it and put it in for another 10 or 15 seconds. Um, just depending on your microwave. Mine is a little hot, so it took a little less time to do. So then I'm going to snip off the tip of the corner of the bag. 
so that I can pipe out the little stitches. Look how cute these are, little Frankenstein Mickey Mouse heads. I told you this can be easy, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thanks for watching, you guys. Happy Halloween!